Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be talking about clipped or Dutch gable. As you can see, we have over here and one more on the second floor and that's how they look like when they're finished. So you see it's kind of some sort of like a half gable, half hip. So let me show you how I do that. So here is uh, our gable that will be sheeting. And uh, what I want to say that the pitch of our gable is 10-12. Uh, if we put our speed square like that, so you see it's 40 degrees or number 10. And uh, it'll be also the same when we have a small keep frame here it's gonna be also 10 12 and as you can see I got a pre-cut a piece of 2x4 that we nailed under the cable it's gonna be drywall nailer and I also have a bunch of 2x6 blocks I cut them 30 inches because our 2x6 uh, overhang is gonna be uh, 16 inches so it's gonna be uh, chicken leather, two plates, and these blocks. So we're gonna nail these two by four, and we're gonna sheet it and put the tie back on. Okay, guys. So the first, uh, as you see, we're done with the plywood and uh, house wrap. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna frame our, uh, I would call it, uh, hip chicken leather. And uh, let me show you what I'm gonna do. So, as you can see, we have this side of the gable, we have kind of like a, pass a little bit the top of the gable. So, what I'm gonna do, I cut already a piece of scrap of uh, 2x6 and I cut it. As you see, we have 10, 10, 12. So, right here and I'm gonna put it like that. I'm gonna align this corner with the top of this side and I'll just put like one nail be easier for me to show you. Okay. Now, we know that our uh, chicken ladder overhang is supposed to be per blueprint 16 inches. So I got a piece of block I cut already and as you see it's 16 inches. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this piece of block, make it tight, make it tight like that. I'm gonna move it along my piece of 2x6 on nail. And once I see that once I see that this corner is aligned with this side of my 2x6. I'm gonna put a mark over here. I'm gonna put a mark also over here. Like that. Now we can take it off. So this is our mark. We can take it off and also this is the mark I just put. I'm gonna use the same piece of block, put it like that. And I'm gonna draw another line over here. That's gonna be my cut line. And that's going to be my uh, sample of my rafter. So every rafter I'm going to cut is going to be the same. So it's going to be a long, short, uh, 18 inches and 7 eighths. On both sides it's going to be 10, 12 pitch. Now, I'm going to measure from here to my mark. I have like uh, 13, 7 eighths. I'm going to do the same size. I'm gonna snap the line. So my chicken ladder is gonna be on this side of the line. So there is another way we can uh, figure out where uh, our hip chicken ladder is supposed to be. So for that, for this this method is actually really good when we have 
one foot uh, overhang and uh, so because our print tell us that this uh, this small hip section has got 10 12 pitch so we can use some math and let's say first of all let me show you the, how that would work if we have one foot uh, chicken leather we would simply measure 10 inches from the mark like that the same on that side we'll snap the line and we're done but in our case we have 16 inches cantilever so we need to do some math and if we do 10 by 12 actually we need to divide it's gonna give us roughly 1.83 inches for every inch uh, horizontally we're gonna have 1.83 vertically so if we do 16 by uh, 0 0.83 is gonna give us something like a 13 and a 3 and something so as you see we kind of close and uh, again if if I would have one foot chicken leather I better use uh, method number two because it's faster and easier uh, method number one it's kind of nice because uh, we can uh, find out the location of the chicken leather and we can also uh, find out the length of the rafter so uh, the next step I'm gonna show you so as you see we have a piece of 2 by 6 pre cut and the way it's gonna be it's gonna be nailed flush with this side and flush with the line we snapped before and as you see I mark already the location of my blocks I did uh, every 16 inches okay guys as you can see we got a uh, little bit of work done already and uh, let me explain you a little bit so because this side of our gable has got 10 uh, 12 pitch so these two by six both these plates i cut it's called um, long 10 let me show you how i cut it so if i use, if I use my speed square i put it like that line with this side then I put the mark you see the number 10 I put the mark like that then I take my speed square and I'm gonna draw the line from this corner through this mark all the way down like that and that's actually gonna be if we check it like that it's gonna be 50 degrees so here you go it's 50 the reason now is 50 because uh, Again, if we take a look at our scale here, you see we have a 10, 12, it's got 40. So 10, 12 pH is the same as 40 degrees. And if we do like, a, if we subtract 90, if we subtract 40 from 90, we're gonna have 50 degrees. That's our angle. So that's how we, uh, uh, how we know that in, this angle is supposed to be either it's called a long tan or it's 50 degrees and now we have a this chicken leather and as you see it's gonna go like that so again this corner is the same it's uh, it's either we can call it long tan or 50 degrees this one a little bit different it's gonna be the same as this one. In our case, we have 10, 12 pitch. So this, if we take a look like that. Well, you see that number 10? So we're good. So that's a little bit different. We have to measure like a short to short. So I'm gonna nail it. And the last step I'm gonna show you uh, how do nail uh, rafters? So our rafter, if you remember, we have both sides, uh, 10, 12, it's long, short. Uh, let me show you how I nail them. So I take it like that, and as you see, we have this corner, a little bit past this, I'm gonna keep the same. And I do a couple nails here. I do like 
like that, and we can also make it stronger, put a couple of minutes like that. Well, that's it, we're gonna finish nailing and we're done. All right, guys, um, here I'm on top of the roof. That's the valley. And did you see the front? We have uh, our Dutch gable. Now let me explain you how I snapped those lines, how I found this. Uh, you see the nail here, this part. So, and let me show you that's the girder. And it's also uh, kind of clipped. Did you see here? Those two by fours, I nailed them temporarily. I'm gonna take them off eventually. And the difference between uh, Dutch gable and between the regular gable, that we don't have a star point for our uh, valley to snap the lines. So here, what I did, I took two two by fours, I cut them 10, 12 on both sides and I nail them to my girder. I just put two nails on both sides. And then I put the nail over here. I pulled my chalk line and I use I used a spirit level to find that spot over there. Right. And then the next steps is kind of the same as we do for any other valleys. Uh, I snapped this line, the same on that side. Then I set the valley trusses. I nailed the small ridge two by four, and I cut and nailed two small rafters. So um, I'm gonna also do some stick frame in the front, and that's it. Okay, that's how the stick frame for my Dutch gable looks like. Uh, we already have the plywood.